Hello, we are discussing about gate 1994 ECE paper and the topic we are discussing is electronic devices. Look at the diagram. The diagram is common emitter configuration. In the common emitter amplifier shown, the transistor has a forward current gain of 100 and a base emitter voltage of VBE 0.6 volts. Assume IC0 is negligible. Choose the values for R1 and R3 such that the transistor has a collector current of 1 milliampere and a collector to emitter voltage of 2.5 volts. So to get IC of 1 milliampere and VC of 2.5 volts, what must be the values of R1 and R3? For the given beta forward current gain of 100 and VB of 0.6 volts, where IC0 can be neglected. The answers for this question is R1 is around 41 kilo ohms, R3 is around 2.2 kilo ohms. We see how to solve. First, we will see what are the given quantities. Beta is given, that is common emitter current gain, which is 100. VB is also given 0.6 volts. IC0 is negligible. To get IC of 1 milliampere and VCE of 2.5 volts, we need to calculate R1 and R3 values. So these are the given values and this is the diagram given. So if you look at this diagram, R3 is in the collector emitter loop which we can directly calculate since we know the value of IC and VCE and also beta value. So apply KVL across collector emitter loop to calculate R3 value. So where we are applying KVL across 5 volts towards ground. So this is going to be forming a loop. So write the KVL. From KVL across collector emitter loop, 5 volts minus IC into R3, current flowing through it is IC, minus VCE, minus R4 into current flowing through it is IE. So minus IE into R4 is equal to 0. So total 4 quantities we are getting in KVL. 5 volts, voltage up across R3, voltage up across collector emitter, voltage up across R4. Next, IE can be written as IC plus IB and IB can be calculated as IC by beta. IC by beta is nothing but 1 milliampere by 100 that is 0 0.01 milliamperes. So IC plus IB will become 1.01. So substitute the values 5 minus IC value is 1 into R3 minus VC is given as 2.5. Again, IC plus IB is 1.01 into 0.3. 1.01 into 0.3 is nothing but it will be equal to 3 0.303. 0 0.303, here we are approximating it as 0.3. So that R3 value will be equal to 5 minus 2.5 minus 0.3, which is 2.2 kilo ohms. If you are going with exact values at that time, this will be 2.197. So there is not much difference. So we are making it as 2.2 kilo ohms. Next we need to calculate R1. <coughs> to calculate R1, we need voltage drop across R1 and the current flowing through this R1. Let current flowing through this R1 as IR1 and voltage drop across R1 can be calculated. Because one end is connected 5 volts, the other end if you know at that time you can subtract that other end voltage from 5 volts. That is nothing but voltage across R1. So the other end voltage we can define voltage across base. Voltage across base is nothing but from base to ground. Ground is this point. From base to ground is nothing but if you apply KVL across this loop, base emitter at that time, voltage across base is VBE plus voltage up across R4. So VR2 is equal to VBE plus I into R2. I is nothing but emitter current. Emitter current is approximately equal to collector current we are making because beta is very large. So that here you are going to get as 1.01. .01. That 0 0.01 can be neglected. So by that time it is equal to 0.9. Otherwise 0 0.903 you will get. So voltage across R2 that is nothing but voltage across base is simply 0.9 volts. Now, 
we need to calculate what is the current flowing through this R1. Current flowing through this R1 is nothing but sum of base current and sum of current flowing through this R2. So first we will calculate R2, then we will add these two things to know the current flowing through this R1. IR2 is equal to VR2 divided by R2. VR2 is nothing but voltage across base that is 0.9 divided by 10 kilo ohms. So it is 0 0.09 milliampers. And IR2 can be written as 0 0.09 is nothing but 90 microampers. Next, IB value is IC by beta which is nothing but 10 microampers. 0 0.01 milliampers that is nothing but 10 microampers. So IR1 is nothing but sum of IR2 plus IB. 90 plus 10 that is 100 microampers. The current flowing through this R1 is dividing into base is dividing into R2. If you add current flowing through this R2 and current flowing through the base that is nothing but total current which is flowing in R1 that is 100 microamperes. After knowing the current flowing through it you can calculate R1. R1 is nothing but voltage drop across R1 that is 5 minus VR2 that is voltage at base. 5 minus 0.9 divided by 100 microamperes which is nothing but 4.1 by 100 microamperes so it is 41 kilo ohms. So R value is R1 value is 41 kilo ohms, R3 value is 2.2 kilo ohms. This is the required answer. Thank you.